Hey everybody, welcome into another Patriots Press Pass film session. I'm Evan Lazar. We're going to break down second round pick Christian Barmore today. And I want to talk about Barmore's first and foremost, his pass rush ability. This is a player that I see with great explosiveness, great get off, great ability to get up a field, but also someone that has nuanced hand usage, lateral mobility, ability to operate in the stunt scheme. So I think there's a lot to like about his NFL upside from that perspective. And I think he's somebody that can fit right in to the Patriots scheme as a pass rusher in a similar mold to what Adam Butler has done over here for the last four seasons. Now, in terms of his role as a run defender, this is not a Vince Wilford type of player, right? You're not going to put him over the nose tackle and have him eat up blocks and occupy double teams and things of that nature. I do think there is a role for him and run defense to become an every down player. And we'll get into some of that later on, but I just want to make it clear because there is some concern that I had pre-draft in terms of his ability to anchor against double teams, take on blockers in the middle of the defense, and do things that the Patriots ask their defensive tackles and their nose tackles to do. So again, not a player that I see in that type of role, but certainly someone that I think can carve out a role as a 3-4 three, three, defensive end and base defense and then maybe kick more inside and pass rushing situations. So let's get into the tape now, and we're going to pull up uh, some tape from the college football playoff against Notre Dame. We're going to look at some tape against Ohio State, and then obviously uh, some game tape against Florida in the SEC championship game as well. So here's the first clip I wanted to show you. It's a stack of Ian Book in the semi, uh, college football semifinal. And what I want to sit, show you is just – how Barmore sets up this move, how he attacks guys off the line of scrimmage and makes tackles or guards set to him a certain way so that he can set up these inside counters. So the first uh, clip here, they're going to have the guard here. He's right over the guard uh, on the right side. And he's just going to charge out of his stance and set up this swim or arm over move. So basically what he's going to do in those first couple of steps as we roll it is he's going to threaten the edge. He's going to threaten the outside of the guard's hip. And when he does that, you can see the guard he sets and kind of sets towards him like this to kind of make sure that he protects up the field, right? But then what it's going to do is it's going to open up this lane right here for Barmore to swim inside. So he sets it up. He gets the right guard to step out and step towards the sideline and change his hips towards the sideline. And then he's just going to hit him with that club right there to get uh, to get inside positioning with his inside hand. And then he's going to go arm over and he's going to go right over him into the backfield for a sack. So that that that's what you see right off the bat with Christian Barmore as a pass rusher is that ability to threaten the edge and that ability to set up his moves. So we saw him do that with the swim move. Now we're gonna see him build on the swim move and add in a club rip. So same right guard. He's probably still worried about getting beat inside. So this time when Barmore comes off the line of scrimmage in the same way, attacking that inside hip or outside hip, excuse me, he's not going to set as aggressively towards the outside because he's already gotten beat once with an inside move by doing that. So this time when Barmore comes out of his stance, you see the guards a little bit more balanced. He keeps his feet, his hips a little bit more open open towards the towards the field so that he's not going to get beat inside again and what does Barmore do he sees that and he's going to go club you can see the club's already starting and he's going to rip underneath so as he clubs him and gets up the field now the guard is kind of hanging off him a little bit and is trying to get hands on him from this side angle and Barmore does a nice job here also of limiting surface area so that there isn't a clean chest for the guard to hit and now he's just going to rip underneath and get in the backfield and put some pressure on the quarterback and Ian Book almost throws an interception the ball lands out of bounds so we saw the ability to use his hands we saw the ability to get off the ball and threaten the edge to set up the guards for interior pass rush moves now we're going to just straight see straight bull rushing power speed to power so as we look at Barmore here he's going to slant inside onto the center and when he slants onto the side onto the center He's just going to get right into his chest, push him right back into the quarterback and get a strip sack here. So as we roll the play, he slants onto the center and you can see him come in there with pretty low pads, get his hands inside and just kind of push him off of him and just walk him right backwards. And he's actually going to be able to make a nice play there and swat the ball out of the quarterback's hands. So hands usage, 
explosiveness off the ball, speed to power and bull rush ability, checks all of those types of boxes. Now we're gonna get into some of the freaky stuff. This is, this is some of the really cool stuff. This is lateral mobility now. Now we're seeing a guy that was attacking downhill, you know, getting up the field, getting on people and using that power move and speed now we're going to see somebody that can move really well laterally or really well side to side. So here's Barmore over the tackle and that five technique rule. That's something that we're going to come back to in his run defense. Really important part of this whole equation for the Patriots as we project Barmore's role into the defense. So what we're going to see him do off the snap here is he's going to move laterally inside and you're going to just see some of that explosiveness and that lateral mobility to jump inside the guard. So you see the off the ball he comes in and look at how quickly he can get inside there and register this quarterback hit you know that's that's rare you don't you don't see that all the time from somebody that's six foot five 310 pounds that he can move like that so he gets inside the guard no contest knocks the quarterback down that's another quarterback hit now we're going to see the lateral mobility and it's sort of a same type of swim or arm over move so here he is against the guard here on the left side this time, he's going to threaten the edge and he's going to jump inside, but I want you to watch his feet. All right, watch how he can move his feet and keep his feet moving to get around the guard because the guard does a pretty good job here. He's pretty balanced. He gets beat here a little bit, but he's able to get his hands inside, right? And he's able to kind of square him up a little. But watch Farmore's feet. Watch, his, watch the, the lower body here and see how he keeps his feet moving. He's able to get around and he draws a holding call there. You can see the flag coming in late. So that, that's what you see with him again is somebody that's very fluid for his size that can move laterally across the line of scrimmage and go inside to outside or outside to inside to threaten the guards. And, and that's something that we consistently see on tape. Now, here's the next step. We talked about stunts earlier on. The Patriots are a really big stunting team. They're a team that's going to want to get their guys to penetrate the line of scrimmage, to open up wrap players, or open up penetration, and then you wrap around. Basically, it's like a pick and roll in basketball, right? One guy's going to pick the man, the next guy's going to roll around the man, right? So this time, what we're going to see is Barmore is here. He's going to be the penetrator. He's going to slant inside, and he's going to try to occupy the guard and the uh, the right guard in the center. But what's going to end up happening is Ohio State does a nice job of actually passing this off. But Barmore is just so physical and, and such uh, has such great speed to power that he's just going to run right through the center. So as we roll the play, he's going to penetrate inside here in a second. So here he comes. He's penetrating inside. And as he gets inside, you see that's that's the, the penetration, and here comes the wrap, right? But what's going to end up happening is the right guard does a nice job of peeling off and picking up the wrap player here, but watch Barmore on the center. He's just going to bully right through him and get the pressure on the quarterback. That's uh, Myers, uh, the center for Ohio State, drafted you know, on day two in the NFL draft. That's an NFL center right there that Barmore just bullied into the backfield. So we know the pass rush ability. That's what I think is NFL ready about Christian Barmore. Now we're going to get into some of the run defense. And again, I don't think this is a player that's going to play on the interior and eat up blocks and take on double teams and be effective. I think it's somebody that needs to play a little bit further outside, uses length, uses mobility to be able to defeat blocks and uses upper body power specifically as well. So this is what you see from Barmore. He's right here over the guard. And he's just going to be able to two gap this. So what we're going to watch him do is he's going to get into the guard there and look at this separation. Look at this arm length and that separation there. That's what you want to see. He's going to hold it up at the point of attack. When you get your arms locked out like that as an interior lineman, that bodes well for your ability to control it, right? You're going to control it, maintain your gap, but you're also going to be able to control that engagement with the blocker. So he's able to hold him back, right? And now he's going to just do this. He's going to just look through to the ball carrier. See how he's got his eyes on the ball carrier now. He's just looking through the blocker to see, okay, where's the running back's entry point? Where is he going to pick? Is he going to come outside? Is he going to come inside? I'm just going to hold the point of attack, keep my arms extended, look through the blocker, and once he commits the running back, I'm going to then make my move, and I'm going to be able to meet him in the gap. So here we go. As he does that, the running back chooses to go inside. Barmore throws the guy off of him. That's textbook two gapping right there. And he does that consistently. He's going to play every down in New England. It's exactly what Bill Belichick wants. And it's very uh, textbook and fundamentally sound. Now we saw him lock out two gap, just lock out 
press out, shed the block, meet the guy in the block in the uh, gap laterally. Now we're going to see him get up the field a little bit. So here he is over the tackle again as that five technique playing over the tackle and an uh, odd front. So as we get into the play, what he's going to do is he's going to get that arm extension again. He's going to pop that upper body and look at the coil, right? Look at how he gets down and he's able to coil his body up and get that upward leverage and that upward momentum into his strike. So there's the upper body power right off of him. He's just going to press him back. Now he's got full control again. He can read the running back. He can kind of mirror him and see, okay, if you're going to go inside, if you're going to go outside, I'm ready to react. But this time, the running back's going to run right up the middle, and he's just going to shed the block. So as we get that, we got that press out now, and now watch the shed. Here comes the shed. We're just going to make the play. I mean, that's, that's textbook. If he does that consistently, we're in business. It's really good. Now we're going to see a little bit more upward, upfield momentum. So this time... He's here over the guard, and Florida is going to run a quarterback draw with Kyle Trask. And the right guard is going to come firing out of his stance at Barmore. When he comes firing out of the stance, Barmore is just going to swim over him and get to the ball carry and, and beat the block. So he has great block recognition from everything that I see, both as a pass rusher and as a run defender. So as a as a run defender here, he's going to see the right guard fire out as we go fires out right there and he's just going to take that momentum against him he's going to slip the block and go right over it and he's just going to make this tackle on Kyle Trask that's just that's great recognition of the play great next recognition of the blocker blocking scheme and what's going on in front of him to then read and react and make a play now we're going to see some more just athleticism in space and you know, mobility from side to side. This is going to be an outside zone pitch, and Barmore is going to set the edge. He's going to see the outside zone pitch. He's going to get outside of it, and he's going to force the runner back inside. Again, something that we really want to see if you're a Patriot fan. Two gapping, upper body power to hold the point of attack and reset the line of scrimmage and shed blockers. And now you're going to see guys setting the edge. So as we get into this play, here he is right over the tackle again in that five technique role. Everybody's going to step out. All the offensive linemen are going to step out and run towards the sideline. As we step out and run towards the sideline, he's going to get picked up by the right guard here and watch where he goes. He's just going to go right back in the backfield. There you go. I want to freeze it right there. Forcing the runner back inside. I got outside leverage. I got this area of the field. Don't go there. You're going to have to go back inside to make a move. He's going to force the runner back inside. That's where his help is. And the defense closes on the football. So Christian Barmore already right now pencils in to a really effective interior pass rusher for the Patriots. They lost Adam Butler in free agency to Miami. I think they have a guy in Barmore that can take over that role pretty much right away. As a run defender, you have to be careful where you play him. I'm not going to play him over the center. I'm not going to play him as a true nose tackle. But if we can get into him into a 3-4 defensive end role where he's playing as a 4-I or a 5 technique and have him two gap from out there and have him beat blockers from out there and get some plays behind the line of scrimmage, I think he's going to be extremely effective for the Patriots on all three downs. So that's Christian Barmore. You can check out the channel and see my breakdown on Mac Jones. Jones as well, the Patriots' first round pick. And we will have a couple of more of these breakdowns on the Patriots draft class upcoming as well. So be on the lookout for those too. But that's all for Christian Barmore, Patriots' second round pick. Thanks for watching, everybody.